Hello everyone and welcome back to Endless Legend. Now let's see, we, I think we're going after this roving army, so we'll kill them real quick. And I think that should be the last roving army that we have to deal with. So auto, ready to fight, boom, we win. Okay. Yeah, and until someone declares, I guess, war on us, like there's really not much else I can do. Because even with that mercenary thing where you can attack people and they don't know who faction it belongs to, I. I would doubt that even with that, we could still attack someone openly who we're not at war with, right? At least in their own territory? Hold on, let me let me go back into Diplomacy. Because the Cold War status... Okay. The only region can attack armies coming inside his own region without declaring war, paying additional cost and influence. Okay. And then they can attack each other in neutral territory and third-party empires. Okay. Yeah, so we can't attack them in their own territory. Hmm. Well. That's okay, I guess. Alright, so we're building some dust stuff up there. Also accumulating population. Let's drop a expansion... Hmm. Over here would we'll grab us some production, some research and things. This would grab us some more research, is, which is also something we, we, we do need. So, you know, let's put the expansion there. Hmm. Hmm. Where can we put a lookout tower? That is not a bad spot. We'll queue up a lookout tower there. This place is still just kind of getting up its population and everything. Public granary, sewer system, canal system. Now let's get a central market. We can actually buy that, but I don't think I will. Oh, right, Ardent Mage. We need the Ardent Mage. Uh, what are we looking at here? Heroes, still out of our price range. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. There was one we could actually buy. Was that an Ardent Mage? Huh? Um. Yeah? No. Who is this? No, yeah, that is an Arden Mage. Okay, cool. We can do this. What do you give us? Slow down, last stand, fast, and ardent fire. Hmm. What's your level ups? You chose research and more research on terrain with anomalies. Okay, I actually have a city that you can go to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Let us, let us buy. I wish that changed to higher. Buying just makes it think like I'm dealing in slavery here. Alright, so we bought her. I think this is the city where I would want to put her in because we have two anomalies right there. Would there be a better spot? Or a better city? We do have a lot of, of uh, anomalies over here too, but we haven't expanded that far yet. We can get three with one expansion. Whereas on this city, we'd have two, three. We'd have three already. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's assign her here. Awesome. So this would be our research city, then. Our research center. Okay. Dust depository plus... F you know what? We don't actually need that, then. We won't focus on dust here. Lookout tower is still okay. That's plus one on exploitations, which we have one. That's it. So I think don't think that's really something we want. Yeah. All right. Inspect. Oh, that was just telling us that she's available. Oh, I forgot that they float. Yes. Is there any accessories I'd, or anything I want to give you? I don't think so. This is all combat related, and I don't plan on you being in combat. Yeah. Nah. Nope, you're fine. You're fine the way you are. 
Although, she does have level ups? Oh, she does! Whoops, okay. So let's do level 3 on that. What is this? Ooh. Ooh. Let's grab that, and then after that's upgraded, then we'll grab that. Yeah, 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 cool. Oh, no, 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 whoops. I meant to apply changes. Yes, there we go. Excellent. So... That expansion, let's see, let's apply some people here now. Alright, we'll keep it like that for right now. And in turn. Now where do we move our army, I wonder? don't really need them anywhere at the moment. I suppose I just garrison them up. Yeah. I think we just garrison them up. Boom. Oh, there's no free slots left. Okay, let's travel down here. Peace does not suit us anymore. Okay. Very well. Garrison them, and you will probably just stay out here. <clears throat> hmm. Well, maybe not. Mm. Nah, we'll just leave you out here. That's fine. So that district is now up, so I'll put these people here. Cool. Alright, so new research. Let's actually focus a little bit more on research now. Plus two per person on city, plus three on terrain with water. No. Here we go. The advanced alchemy lab. Let's grab that. And we should probably grab that too. So that we can actually get some of those new resources. And the reaping station would be good. Okay. That would also be good. Let me rethink this. Let me rethink this. Hold on. This is pretty important. Let's actually grab that first. Uh, then we'll grab the research thing. Then we'll grab this one. Then we'll grab this one. It's not really focusing on military right now. And there are some buildings I'm sure that require these, but... These two don't, so... Oh, that could be good too. Royal stockpile. Hmm. Influence. Yeah. Shoot. Oh, but that requires a new stuff uh this stuff so let's queue that up instead and we'll go from there all right population grown excellent everybody's still on money as they should be and let's build a oh no, let's build an expansion so that's already a level 2 district, so if you build one here, it should pump it up to a level 3. Because it's totally surrounded. Excellent. So that's going to be cool. And then we'll grab an extra one of these. I do want to pump these out. What if we switch? Hmm. There's a lot of money. Yeah, we'll get those in time. And I don't think there's really anything I need to do, so boom. It's possible maybe these guys will declare war on me since we're in a Cold War state, but 
So far, the AI has been really passive. I doubt they will declare war on me. Especially since they're the Draken. Uh, what do we want to do in this place? Hmm. Mostly a production city. Let's expand the trade routes. Let's grab another expansion if it makes sense. Yeah, that... Yeah, sure. Mm, no. I suppose we can queue that up. And we'll queue that up. Okay. Hmm. And right now, I am saving up for a mercenary to try and see what we can do with them. Oh, I failed in this quest. Alright, so now that we have the Art of Mage, I kind of forgot. We can now... In order... Hold on. Hmm. I have brought an Ardent Mage into your empire in order to learn the secrets of the dust and this magic. So I have done that. So why isn't this... Do I need to do something special with the hero? Hold on. Do I have to explore that with the hero? Can I do it with you? Because that's the one part of the quest, right? Maybe not. Defeat these troops protecting the sacred site. Their blood will be on your conscious. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. I thought that was part of the quest too. I guess not. Okay. Well, Garrison back in the city. Thanks for the help, guys. Does it just take some turns before the game realizes that I have an ardent mage? Can I reactivate? Aww. Alright, new Empire plan in six turns. So, that means we need to get some influence. Only 30. That's kind of a big waste. Yeah, my empire is not really geared for influence gathering. Not yet. I guess I suppose I could make it that way, but uh... ah, whatever. Alright, let's see if we can... Hey, yay! Our Empire-wide approval has just gone up. Empire approval is up to 63%. Wait a minute, what? I never even assimilated anybody? What? Did at some point I cancel the... Oh, yeah. I guess because I lifted up the city and they were no longer in my control. Okay. Yeah, that makes some sense. Hmm. Okay. Well, we will uh, assimilate you guys again. There we go. Okay.
and simulate. So what I would want, what I would want, hmm, what do I want? At least this. We need to at least get up to that, which is what we will be able to. Um, you know, I guess that's still okay. Sure. We'll be able to reach that pretty soon. And let's check up on the mercenaries. Units. Alright, so we can actually afford a mercenary. They're all demons and centaurs. Life 151. That is a lot of life. This unit has life drain. Winter immunity. Wow. Sweet block regeneration. Okay. I guess they're expensive for a reason. Alright, demons. Chain lightning. Sweep life train level 2 regeneration fly. Hmm. 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 Let's grab a centaur. Select a target city. Let's select. Oh, I don't know. Here. So now, if we do a new army, it should be neutral. That does not look neutral to me. That looks red. Well, maybe it's red to me, but neutral to others? No, that's not the tech. Armies composed exclusively of mercenaries can harbor a neutral flag. Can harbor! Ah! Privateers mode. I see. So now this doesn't look like it's my army. Okay. That's cool. Well, for right now, we will garrison you back into the city. And we need to get a full army going of them and see what we can do with them. May take a little while because, you know, these guys are pretty expensive. Pretty expensive. Alright, so we have enough influence now to grab the plans that we want. Okay, so let's do that. Cue that up. Let's actually cue that up before the expansion. And put all of you back onto that. Sure. All of you back onto food. <laughs> and all of you back onto food as well. Okay. Okay, build that. Hmm. I want that pumped out as fast as possible. Because, you know, we're getting research from our one trade route, so the more trade routes, the more research. It'll work itself out in the end. Okay. We're just breezing through the turns. There's really not too much for me to do right now. Should have that Empire plan coming up. Cool. Okay, so now let's go to Ostak. We definitely want the advanced alchemy. Yeah, we want that. We also want that. Of course. Let's put that first. And then I suppose we'll grab... Oh, wait, wait, this isn't the city. That's the research city, right? Oops. Ah, what's well, okay. Still okay. Hmm. Hmm.
Let's grab expansion there. Hello, Empire Plan. Yes, that is totally okay. Apply that, and let's go into diplomacy. And we already have trading. Let's do a commercial agreement. Agreed. Okay. All right. Cool. Let's get out of that. And you guys... You will do something. Build the right of way, build that. Oh no, gold extractor, that's what we need. Titanium extractor. Titanium extractor. Alright, so actually, let's just cancel that. We'll still do the right of way so we can get a trade route going. Oh, we do need this expansion too. Okay. Okay, hold on, hold the phone. Oh, we can just buy that though. Mm. Nah, we can just do it in four turns. That's fine. I still need to buy more mercenaries. Alright. In turn. And let's go back here to the unit section. And we'll probably buy just another one of these centaurs. Or should we do a demon? We do have this chain lightning thing, which could be cool. Hmm. 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 Sure. We'll buy you and we'll stick you in O stack with the other mercenary. Okay. Let's throw trade routes. So with the Wild Walkers, we're getting some stuff. We need. We don't have any trade routes with the people that we made that commitment with. Oh no, no! All right. I guess I made it with the wrong people. Let's do the Wild Walkers. Oh, we don't have enough influence now. Ah, yuts. I think after next turn we will. Well, I'm glad you guys agree. Hmm. That didn't actually boost anything, though. It's still just 14 and 9. Wasn't it that before? I thought that would boost it. Hmm. Okay. Nice. We got those two more anomalies over there. That should help. So now we got the reaping station. So I suppose we should do the blood crystal here. Blood crystal there. We have some quicksilver around. There it is. There it is. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Moonleaf. I suppose each one of these villages does give us a person, so queue all that up. That's going to take a while, unless I pay for it, which is totally possible. Let's also get a lookout tower there and there, I guess.
yeah, I guess Roving Clan is a very passive game. Let me see how close we are to victory here. Whoa. We are way up on the overall score. Economic, we're only 2%. Really? That's not good because Grimaud is at 85% diplomacy. Oh no. Hmm. Oh no. And I can't declare war. Oh no. <laughs> this isn't good. This isn't good at all. Shoot. Okay, let's grab another mercenary. Um, Dells. Oh shoot! I'm hoping we can attack them, and we need. To, oh man. Okay. Move you down here. Um, sh mm, sure. Is that what, what would I want to make? No, let's make another expansion. Oh, no, wait, no, no. This is what I want. Whoops, sorry. I, I got distracted by how close the Draken are to winning this game. I need to see if I can stop that. Apply that, and then also what I could do to try and assist, because I can't go to war. Oh, market ban is 285. Or 258. <laughs> what am I saying? I mean, that may not be huge. I don't even know if the computer is using the market. Hmm. Hmm. I should probably at least get one more unit in there, though, shouldn't I? Alright, so I'm going to take that unit out and move them up here. Just so we can hire another mercenary and get them into the, this army as soon as possible. Oh no. They have gone up to 2,000? What? Well, one more turn, we should be able to grab that one. Hopefully, they stay there. I'm assuming if I lead them with a army or with a leader that they. Oh, wait, I can't do that, right? Anyway, why can't they do this? You cannot switch privateers mode as this army is one of your is on one of your district tiles. Oh, I see. Okay. So, again, I I doubt I can assign the hero to the army and then still go to privateers, but I suppose I should at least test it out. So, let's test it out. And we want to assign to army. Yeah. Yeah, 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 okay. Well, now I know. I thought it would be that way, but this is my first time using mercenaries. The unfortunate thing now is that I can't unsign him for five turns. Okay. 
Garrison. Man, since it's been such a passive game, I wasn't even thinking to look at how close like the Draken were to, to winning. I was just like, well, obviously I'm going to win. It's just going to take a long time, but that's not the case. That's not the case. Swatching station is up. Still can't unassign them. Oh, boy. That's okay. That's okay. How much money do we have exactly? Okay. So by the time that we can unassign this hero, I'll be able to hire another mercenary, and I really hope we can, like, destroy towns. I need to wipe them out of this game pronto. 90%. Ninety percent. All right. Well, we're gonna try and do that. I guess in the next episode, this all of a sudden got tense for me out of nowhere because I wasn't paying attention. We'll see if I can take them out with our mercenary armies. If we can't, then I am screwed. My economic victory is at two percent. Like I have no chance of coming back from that. Um, we'll see. I will see you all next time. Take care.